Hello everyone, welcome to the third and last episode of the wonderful Bill Sienkiewicz's Mutants, Moon Knights, and Assassins Artifact Edition. Very excited to share with you the Electra section, the ending of this book. It is a wonderful book. If you want to know about my books and what I do, like Pride of Missouri or Space Bear, check out my Patreon in the description. There you will see a plethora of daily strips and comics and scripts that I work on. And if you want to be a Patreon at Patreon, you can see even more. All the latest stuff from Shangri-La to Boaz, all the projects I'm working on now. So, and Cannibals on Mars, which is coming to a Kickstarter soon, I believe. Um, so enough of that, let's get on to episode three. Love this book. Let's do it right now. Are you ready? Okay, everybody, it is time for three. The three, the trilogy has begun. The ultimate episode. We are finishing up this book with Electra. We did New Mutants, we did Moon Knight, and now Electra. This is where we get into Sienkiewicz, All Out, Miller supplying the script and ideas. He's coming in and he is painting the crap out of it. This, I think, is his apex. This is his best, in my opinion, because he's doing all this stuff and he's adding other principles of art, other elements. He's adding color, right? <laughs> That's the big one. He adds color. He's adding color. And he's using techniques that you just can't do with black and white stuff. So the medium's changing slightly. He's adding more elements of art. The principles are there still, and uh, it's great stuff. So let's just kick some ass looking at this book. Here we go. We gotta bang this out. Just, I mean, this page alone was probably a couple thousand dollars to have. So basic, so simple, so cool. Love this really cobalt blue. He really went to almost a ultramarine. Um, a lot of airbrush here, just great stuff. This is kind of fun because now we really get into, okay, we're gonna play with this medium. This is not a TV show property. We're not going to pitch this as a freaking show on Netflix. This is a comic book. So we can do things in this medium you cannot do anywhere else. Hence the crazy ass little cartoons in the woman's belly. Stuff like this with a little like, you know, phone umbilical cord. I love this. I love the kind of um, expressionistic strangeness to it. And look at the, the, the dialogue in the art. There's no balloons, it's just in there. The, the, the craziness. This a lot reminds me of stuff like, you know, Arkham Asylum by Dave McKean. I mentioned him in episode one. Just really pushing the boundaries of what comics can do. Um, also, I did notice the, the artist tape. I remember he does do that, use that. And I started using that for some of mine. It's kind of fun. Just to kind of really make those nice, clean, hard borders for certain stuff. Usually when you're doing paint jobs, you would do that. But I love the work here. I love all the stuff. The, the depth, look at that. Really well done. Extremely well done. And then this stuff here, surprise, spelt wrong built hole, bullet hole here spelt wrong just this really lots of blood more blood just really kind of making it this abstract tweet 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 all i mean just really kind of fun fun stuff really cool yeah this even even this 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 weird orphanage type of place you know Oh my gosh, I forgot. Then we're gonna go into this stuff. Now he's using lace. Now, if you wanna look at kind of a modern, more modern guy who, who definitely was influenced by this, you look no further than David Mack, right? Where's my David Mack? Mack, Mack, Mack. Oh, gosh. Okay, I don't have my David Mack. Right, handy. I always mention somebody and I'm like, I don't know where it is. You go look at David Mack, and you'll see David Mack in here too. You'll say, oh, because he uses lace and he puts all that stuff. Yeah, it's David Mack. You don't think he knew this? Of course he did, he used this. 
Yeah, that's what we do. We we study it, we dissect it, we we look to see. You know, he's even using damn damn paper pieces and and stuff. I mean, just and it's changing within the page. So w between panels, we change technique, style, and you know art. We go from this. We go from this, which is a kind of realize, you know, a very uh, kind of realistic look. We go to this kind of a little bit more kind of cartoonish. We the background, heavy borders, and then we go into this. You know what I mean? We're just like we just devolve into now just shapes, and then we go back to reality. Right? This is the reality that's in our mind or memories. Right? This is all great. This this whole thing of, of, you know, shooting an arrow through the ninja star, jumping on the arrow, catching the arrow, all this kind of fun stuff. I love it. And this is like heavily painted acrylics, just blocked out stuff. Just really great. You know, remembering this. And then back to reality, back to a very gritty, almost like a Wyeth, right? It almost looks like a like a Wyeth painting. If you don't know Andrew Wyeth uh, or his dad, N.C. Wyeth, there's this whole Wyeth family of artists, but Andrew Wyeth's one of my favorite. Um, or or like a or like a Keith Williams, right? Or John Muth. I talk about them a lot too. Back to the memories. Back to reality, memories, cartoonish world. Just beautiful stuff, man. This is just, I think this is the best. I mean, this is like comics at its finest. Look at this. Kind of a Lobo look, you know, that, that uh, Beasley did. I like these watercolors too, it's all pretty. I mean, this could have been a cover. This could be a cover of the of the issue. Just wonderful stuff. I love the air, airbrushing in there, making that silver kind of pop out and then putting in little rings. Of, that's her father, you know. So good. Did you notice how there's no dialogue? We haven't even talked about, there's like, it's just images and it's just like, okay, what's going on here? You know, what are we, what are we, what are we telling? This is the, this is the comic. We're not skipping anything. This is the comic. This is the full finished comic and there's no dialogue. It's boom. Let me, let me grab it. Let me grab it. Because I could, I could have just said, I just talked out of my ass. Okay, I did, okay. I did talk out my butt, sorry about that. I just thought, I'm like, wait a minute, no, that's not right. And it is not right. Um, here it is, right? So it, this, is, this is the art before the dialogue goes in. So I apologize, I just talked a little bit of nonsense. But here's the original, right? Look at that. Notice though, this is much more purple than this. I don't know if that's just um, degradation of the, the pigments because of time, you know, but from the collector or uh, if it was just a, cor a correction in the printing, I don't know. But this is this is the, uh, the real one. Okay. But yeah, there is definitely tons of dialogue that goes through. Cause I was just like, wait a minute, I spoke. Glad we fixed that. I don't need no comments. <laughs> Actually, you can comment. You can talk. You can take any talk. Uh, okay. Um, the only problem I have with this, and I'm talking about the production, is I do like that it's matte, but I also feel like some of the vibrantness of the originals were missing because it's, it's matte. Now, if it was glossy, 
that would be an issue too because we couldn't see it good because the freaking gloss would be on the page. So I don't know how to fit. I don't know how to like be happy. Uh, you can tell my wife about that. Um, but for some reason, I really feel like we're missing some of the really vibrantness of the colors because of printing this. But you know, what are you gonna do? Can you go try to find the original somewhere. Great stuff. Oh, I did love this idea of these big block kind of mask faces with just like the details in the face, but everything else is just a very basic shape. I thought that was cool. A lot of airbrush here, which is fun. I even think, I think even as he does this project, I think his skills increase. I think he really was pushing it. You know, this was after Dark Knight, after Watchmen, but I, th I really think he was really pushing his his abilities here. I mean, does that not remind you of uh, a certain Sin City issue? <laughs> yeah, great stuff. I really like this too. He really went to town on the airbrush here. He did this whole rendered and then he just brushed the hell out of it and just really darkened all that up. Now we would do that digitally. We just like put a layer, just opacity, 60%, and then, you know, get a, a, a eraser and erase the middle here. But this is wonderful work he did. And it takes some balls because when you airbrush this, you're like, okay, I'm ruining this. There's no coming back. After I airbrush this out, I cannot go back. I could have to repaint the whole thing, but otherwise it's like, I gotta, you know, but he puts a lot of nice, nice textures on that. That's a great face, my gosh. Look at all the colors in here. There's just every color in the rainbow in this panel. Greens and yellows and oranges and blues. Ochre. Okra. Yeah, it's just so, so good stuff, dude. Very European feeling, you know. Look at this, isn't this a beautiful, just wonderful. That's a great cover. We, we, you see this all over the place. That's, that's, that's a masterpiece. 86, 86, wait a minute. Almost dark night. When is Dark Knight? Is it Dark Knight 85? Uh, okay, I got Dark Knight here. Real quick. When is Dark Knight? 86. Son of a bitch. Okay. They're coming out at the same time. Oh, which was first? Was Dark Knight before this? That I do want you to comment. Because they both, I'm, I'm getting both your 86s. So that would be interesting. Oh my gosh, what a year Frank Miller had. Damn, he put that out and this at the same time? Freak. Yeah. Look at that, that's a gorgeous painting. All these are wonderful. Oh, should we end with my piece? Maybe we'll end with my little piece. I have a little piece too. Okay, isn't this great? These And these are just different random uh, pages from the comic. Some covers. So good. So freaking good. I am just love it. And then let me share with you my piece I got from him from Comic Con. Uh, oh man. Okay, never mind. It's mounted on there and I don't want to mess it up. It's mounted on my wall, but <laughs> maybe I'll put an image and share with you guys the piece I have. Um, I want you to know that this is uh, my favorite, one of my favorite artists of all time. I hope you learned something. I hope you had fun looking through this the last couple episodes. I really, as you can tell, enjoy this. Uh, I actually already kind of learned a couple things going through this again. Um, I'm gonna go back and kind of retootle a couple things and really look for places to uh, to do some changes in, in what I'm doing. So I learned from it. I appreciate you guys watching. 
Thank you. Uh, subscribe to the channel and all kind of stuff. Check out my Patreon and have a good one. Bye, guys.